I'm gonna, it feels weird, like I'm half sitting, I'm standing, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, all right, so good morning, gang. We are so very excited, so, uh, so blessed to have you guys here this morning. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your Power Morphicon to spend a few hours with us. Uh, I promise you will not be disappointed. We have some amazing things that are gonna happen over the next couple panels. Uh, and in that spirit, so for those of you who don't know, my name's Jason Bischoff. I guess I am the uh, newly, newly unpacked global uh, franchise creative director for, for Hasbro. Um, yeah! So I, I promise you that I am highly articulated. I've got dynamic poses in me. We're gonna be able to do some cool stuff. Um, and honestly, uh, just for the sake of saying it, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that, like what a crazy 25th anniversary already, right? Um, so much has happened this year, uh, and, and I say this respectively, every time you guys were like, ah, they're gonna zig, we zagged hard, right? Like, uh, I think we sort of kicked that off in the spirit of, of Shattered Grid. You saw that, uh, saw that, what was that, six months ago? Who's reading Shattered Grid? Right on, thank you for doing so. Uh, Shattered Grid was a perfect example of that. Uh, Toy Fair was certainly a perfect example of that in revealing that Hasbro was now the master toy, which we're very, very excited about, and I am personally excited about for obvious reasons. Um, and then, of course, the announcement for Beast Morphers specifically. Let's give it up for Beast Morphers. Yeah. Not one person in this room saw that coming, and I'm very grateful for that, and we are very grateful for that because there's amazing things happening on that front. Um, but in that spirit, gang, why don't we go ahead and get this thing started? So, let me take a quick peek here at my notes. My notes. Ah, here's what I can tell you. So when I told you that we zig, when you expected us to zig, we zagged. Well, the reality is, it's a brand new day. I think that's the best way to articulate it. Everything's different. All the, all the old stuff is off, off the table, and I found the perfect gif to sort of explain that to everybody. There you go, right? But here, here's what I gotta tell you. <laughs> here's what I gotta tell you. We've had some pretty incredible things happen this year. We've had some product reveals. I also personally love the critique where everybody was like, oh man, that's not an announcement. We data mined that a month ago. I'm like, brother, we've been working on that for 14 months. <laughs> so here's what I can tell you in the spirit of today. This is our time now, power punks. All right, so if you would please give a round of applause to our panelists this morning. There's some incredible people. We're very grateful to have them here. So please give it up for Chris Peralta from Enway. Come on up, Chris. Chris is our community development and social media strategist. Uh, Mr. Jesse Cherry, senior product development manager for Enway. Give it up for a longtime friend of mine, Mr. Scott Gaeta, president and publisher of Renegade Game Studios. Uh, and then the, the yin to my Hasbro yang, uh, if you can give it up to Malvika Mantra who is our senior director of global franchise strategy now on Power Rangers. And then really, the brains of the operation are product development manager specifically for Hasbro, Miss Vanessa Fung. Come on up, Vanessa. <laughs> All right, gang, uh, just to kind of warm us up here, panelists, uh, I know we're kind of in the dark, but it's kind of cool that way, too. Um, so, panelists, if you could just kind of go down the road and tell me what is your favorite thing about Power Rangers? I'm not asking for like, I want, I'm a really big Tommy fan. No, I'm like, what's your favorite thing about Power Rangers? It could be a character, it could also be something kind of meta. So just, let's go Chris, down the line. You Chris. Yeah, me Chris. Is this working? Of course, yeah. Hey, the what's up guys? Oh. Uh, favorite thing about Power Rangers, not because I'm sitting next to this guy, but uh, SPD, the series itself. I'm in time for us, yo. <laughs> That's cool. SPD's rad. Keep going. Uh, inclusiveness. Ooh, that's a good answer. You took 
you took my answer. <laughs> so yeah, no, I was gonna say inclusiveness, and I really do like that it's family friendly and accessible to all ages. I think that's very important. Right on. Uh, my two favorite things about Power Rangers, the inclusiveness and uh, the liberal use of spandex. Oh. <laughs> Definitely grow up, when, go, grow up with Power Rangers. It's definitely Pink Rangers and definitely the inclusiveness. Wow, a lot of inclusiveness this morning. I love it. It's a very inclusive answer. All right, so, uh, guys, we want to start things off a little bit with a sneak peek at what's been going on with our Legacy Wars game, specifically from our friends over at Hen Enway. So with, to do that, we're going to kick off with a little video here. Here we go. <laughs> Click. Click. My clicker is having so much trouble, gang. All right, cool. Uh, so, friends over at Enway, tell us a little bit about what's going on specifically for the 25th anniversary. Maybe, Jesse, you can highlight how is Enway going to be celebrating what's going on in this Power Rangers Month and more specifically Power Rangers Day? Yeah, so uh, we have a new update coming out next week. Um, it's sort of our 25th anniversary episode, or episode, sorry, anniversary. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, celebration. Um, we are going to be doing 25 days of events. Um, that includes mission, missions, tournaments, challenges, free rewards, extra rewards. Um, just every day we want something to be happening. That will be starting kind of the 23rd, 25th. It might end up being actually 27 days to celebrate 25, <laughs> nice. but uh, yeah, we have, we have a lot of stuff and we're going to be fully announcing all the, the features in the next couple days. Um, you're going to be able to, for those of you that play the game, actually just send codes to each other and play Megazords finally. We're finally getting that in, so. Just uh, for the, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, just for the sake of asking, who is Platinum in this room? Do you know what I'm talking about in terms of playing the game? Okay, that's, cra that's crazy. Okay, golds? I'm, I'm right up there with you. Silvers? Right on. And bronzes? You are the heart of the earth. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, on that note, guys, uh, anyway, you guys have had some crazy stuff sort of happening over the last four days or so. Um, I don't know, for those of you who have been paying attention online on the Twitter sphere, but you've seen an image that looks like this. Yeah? which was super, super cool. And then over the last few days, you've revealed four of these portals, which looks a little something like this. Oh, I gotta be so careful. <laughs> Can't overclick. Can we advance the slide just one, please? Okay, so keep it right there, keep it right there. So for those of you who, who didn't catch the news, we announced in order SPD Shadow Ranger. Samurai Gold. Lightspeed Titanium. Our very beloved Ranger Slayer. Oh, right on. Love the United... But, guys, um, who's in the last portal? You got, you got to tell me, man. I mean, wait, wait, let's get a poll of the room. Yeah, let's, let's get a poll. Okay, the color's kind of an indicator, so on the count of three, everybody shout out who you think it is. One, two, three. Oh, man, I heard like three specific answers. Well, how do we want to do this, guys? You just splurt it out for us. I, I think we need some help. Yeah, we need some help over here. All right, so it sounds like we're going to need a little bit of help to reveal this last portal. So on that note, you guys want to introduce our special guest? So, uh, dude, I'd like to call up to the stage uh, Mr. Paul Schreier from the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Pauly Schreier. Hey, that looks... Yes. Pauly, welcome. 
<laughs> Man, you were looking good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Schreier. I need everyone to be very quiet. I've been very sick. Soak it in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Narvey. That one doesn't work. Use this one. This one's perfect for Jason. Give it to Nardi. <laughs> What's up, party people? Hi, Polly. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot my costume. What's up, Andre? Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's awfully dark in here. It's a good thing your head is at least glowing. Budget cuts. <laughs> Budget cuts, man. All right, Polly, so you want to give us a little tease as to who's in the portal? Uh, I can tell you right now that it's Hyperforce! Yellow! Ready! Power up! Yeah. Dracon Gold ain't got it on me. Jack D. Thomas enters the Morphin Grid specifically to help out with all of our other Rangers. We are so, so stoked to see this slide kind of come into fruition. Um, anyway, when can we expect to see Hyperforce Yellow drop in game? He will be dropping in October, right alongside Titanium in that same month. Both those characters are coming in October. Legit. Hey, you guys, in this room, who's been playing this game? Who? Raise your hands. All right, that's not enough hands. Honestly, this is the pantheon of Ranger greatness. You have an obligation to me, to your mom, and to Jason Narvey to play this game because it's awesome, especially if Jack D. Thomas the Tank is in effect. Thomas the Tank Engine? That's a different franchise, Paul. You can't say that at this panel. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> panel over. Okay, so, uh, Polly, as we're integrating Jack into the game, can you give us a little like a little pointer, some pointers as to how we capture Jack's personality specifically in, uh, in this vir virtual form. Well, you've, you've got to, I mean, like any tank, you have to really plan your moves carefully, hit hard because you can, but don't get over eager and be a button puncher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Time your attacks. That's my advice. Sick. And then just anecdotally, man, uh, we have not had a chance to actually kind of personally catch up and talk about this, but what is, what is it truly like being on the other side of the ranger suit? Stretchy. <laughs> I mean, spandex, it's, it's a hell of a drug. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Choose your timing carefully and stretchy. All right, man, we got it. We're good. No, but legit, we are, we're super, super excited to have Jack join the game. Um, anyway, anything else you want to share specifically on, on maybe the character model that we've got on screen right now? Yeah, I mean, so you can see the concepts up there. He will be a big, bad... You can fill in the last Shut right your there. mouth! Yeah, uh, ranger. You know, we're, we're going to have a ranger that has this, that, that, that muscle, that thickness. So, you know, it's going to Now, be, you don't have to dance around it. I'm yeah. sitting right here, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, look, that's the cool thing about Jack D. Thomas is that I mean, we are embracing all morphologies here, and I mean that in the most respectful sense. You can be big and still kick it. That's what I'm saying. Thighs. Thighs. <laughs> He's got big thighs. Just thighs. Yeah. I got him. Got a lot of them. Well, on those thunderous words. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but again, let's give it up one more time for, uh, for Mr. Paul Schreier and certainly Mr. Jason Harvey. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. We're very, Thank very you, Power Morph and Con. Morning. Thank you, Legendary Games. Narvi, let's bail his joint. <laughs> Give it up one more time for our good friends, Polly and Jason. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> Click. All right, check out this new video we got dropping, guys, specifically for Samurai Gold. It's going to be up in just a couple weeks.
Oh, snap. Jeez, All right, so let's give it up one more time for our good friends at Enway. Thanks for bringing up those goodies for us, guys. All right, next couple of things. Again, we want to just keep you guys up to date on the latest, greatest of what's happening in Ranger Nation. So I'm going to just kind of quickly burn through a few slides just to maybe remind folks that may not be aware of uh, the news as it's been breaking over the last couple of weeks. So we'll talk briefly about our good friends over at... Click. Click. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Sorry, gang. Uh, over at Funko, so for those of you that weren't aware, we actually revealed um, our civilian head Funkos, uh, Funko Pops, um, just a couple weeks ago. And then that kind of spiraled into some additional news where we revealed... We've got to come up with like a signal. Thank you. It's the high sign. We're going to give you the high sign. So we revealed some of our villains that we've been cooking out for you guys in celebration of the 25th anniversary. Um, for those that aren't aware, Pudgy Pig and Pumpkin Wrapper are both exclusive to GameStop, so be sure to check those out. They're going to be running a special Heroes vs. Villains campaign over the next few weeks. Uh, again, all in celebration of the 25th anniversary. Hi, son. Cool. And then on top of that, we also expanded our Zord line, right? So uh, many of you have seen the 6-inch Megazord specifically here at Power Morphicon, which was created just for this event, which is super cool. There's also uh, a glow-in-the-dark Megazord that's coming out. Uh, a six-inch Tiger Zord over at Hot Topic, so check that. And then my personal favorite, it is a 12-inch Pop Ultra Zord for Target. And when I tell you that this thing is the coolest pop I've ever seen in my life, I'm understating it. So if you have a chance and you'd like to see this thing, just cruise by the, um, by the booth today. If you see me, I'll pull it out of the back for you just to get a sneak peek, okay? All right, moving on. There are also two things that we have not announced. The first one is a metallic green uh, civilian Tommy. And then, as to my data, data mining comment from, yes, uh, from just a few minutes ago, yesterday this was revealed via Toy Wiz, so thanks to our friends over at Toy Wiz. But let's high sign that. Lord Draken is coming out in six inch pop. All right, now let's turn it over to our good friends over at Renegade Game Studios and my buddy Scott, Ga uh, Scott Gata, whom I've known for like. A long time. A long time, like yeah. a decade. Yeah. Cool. So, Scott, um, hey, thanks for being here. Sure. Um, all right, so more specifically, can you maybe give us a top line as to what's going on with the Heroes of the Grid Kickstarter that just launched just a couple days ago? So I'm going to be flipping through a couple slides here, but give us maybe a top line of what's going on, uh, how this came together, that kind of thing. Sure. Um, so Heroes of the Grid is a cooperative miniatures board game where players take on the roles of different rangers. So we're starting off with Mighty Morphin. You can play one of the, one of the core rangers, and you are working together against the game. The game will be spawning monsters like Rita Repulsa and Pudgy Pig and Nasty Knight, and you have to protect Angel Grove from being overrun by all the bad guys. If you don't work together as a team, you will fail, you will lose. If you work together and use your ranger powers appropriately, you will overcome the threat. Um, the game is highly replayable. We're doing lots and lots of miniatures, and the campaign has already unlocked a uh, white light expansion with the white ranger, green with evil expansion with the evil green ranger, the shattered grid expansion with Lord Dracon, Ranger Slayer, and a host of other characters. Um, I think now we're up to something like 40 unique characters yeah, unlocked some, like or more. I can't keep track anymore. We're, we're sculpting and adding characters constantly. Uh, I brought along a friend, Megazord. This is an actual to scale figure for the game. So you guys can see Megazord and um, he's an add-on for the game. There's various tiers. You can start off basic at the base game that comes with all the rangers, um, pretty much all the villains that I just mentioned. And then there's also an all-in tier that just gets you everything that we unlock and that we put into the game. You just get it all. So just for the sake of asking, Scott, um, why do this through Kickstarter? Um, so this is, this is new for us. We've been around for a while, and we normally don't use the platform. But for Power Rangers, the one thing that we, we miss is a direct connection to the fans. So normally we produce a game, it goes into distribution, and it goes out into stores. But... For Power Rangers, we really wanted to form a relationship directly with all of you guys because we want to know what you want next. And 
Yeah, so like we're, we're getting feedback in, in real time. People are telling us what characters they'd want to see added to the game and what they'd like us to do down the road. You know, we can't do everything off the bat, like for launch. You know, there's 25 years of characters to draw from. Um, but we're already, you know, we're taking notes and there's a really awesome dialogue and we have plans to continue to use that direct connection to all our backers that are jumping on board early and all these early adopters and we want to know like what to do next. And the cool thing is, as we put out more rangers, you can build your own team. You don't just say have to take the Mighty Morphin team and play the game, because there's new boards and new scenarios and all sorts of stuff that you can do. You can build your dream team with rangers that we release and kind of do your own thing, which is really, really cool. So that actually brings up a really important question, which is, hey, if, uh, can I just like wait until next spring and still be able to capture characters like the Wizard of Deception or Pumpkin Rapper? Uh, so no, there are some things that if, you, if you're not familiar with Kickstarter called stretch goals that will be exclusive, uh, Kickstarter exclusives. So if you jump on board early and you pledge now and you get in on it, you're gonna get some miniatures that won't be released to retail down the road. So there's some really cool exclusives that are to reward the people that are the early adopters and jump on board and get involved right from the beginning. So you're gonna have some exclusives just for you. And as a big old nerd on this side of the table, somebody who's actually had a chance to see what some of those stretch goals look like, when I tell you there are deep cuts, there are deep cuts. In fact, um, Scott, you were very generous to basically tell me yesterday that you still wanted to reveal one deep cut that's gonna be available soon. So you wanna do the honors? Yeah. So. We, we, re we revealed right from the beginning that we were doing Megazord, uh, and Megazord's really awesome, but we figured that the bad guys needed something awesome too. So we're announcing for the first time, it'll be up on the site probably tomorrow, that Cyclopsis is being added to the campaign. Uh, Megazord's got some competition now, so. And the crazy thing is, guys, as far as I know, in franchise history, this is the first time Cyclopsis will actually be immortalized in one form or another. Yes? Yeah. So, very excited about that, Scott. Thank you very much for keeping it going. And, and for those of you that already have contributed to the Kickstarter, you're super legit and rad, and we really love that. Um, and for those that are still considering it, uh, please do so, because there's so much good stuff that you have yet to even see unlock as part of those stretch goals. Yeah. Anything else, Scott? No, uh, c come by the booth. We actually have Jonathan Ying, the game's designer. Uh, he's on the booth, we're demoing, we have prototypes. So all the stuff that you see is not finished, not final, but we have prototypes that we made just for you guys for Power Morphicon. Uh, we, didn't, we haven't brought them to any other game conventions. You can play it and be the first people on the planet to actually play the game and, and check out all the minis. Legit, so give it up for Scott Gaeta, guys. Very, very, very excited about that new relationship. All right. So, um, unfortunately, not everybody can always fly in specifically for this event. We certainly have partners that are across the country doing all sorts of good work. And so, we have a new partner uh, that's come on board that wanted to show a couple new goodies that they've been working on specifically. So, uh, I guess on their behalf, I'm just going to kind of show you a few slides here for a group called Lineage Studios. And Lineage is actually going to be launching in just the next couple weeks. They're kind of taking a different spin at what it means to do collectibles. So um, let me give you a sneak peek at what they're thinking. So for them, they're thinking about not, not just collecting stuff, but like where your collection. So um, they've put together a pretty compelling new pin program that specifically celebrates uh, the original Power Morpher, um, certainly in two versions. You've seen, thank you for that. Uh, that's like everybody in the room checking their phone right now. So. Uh, <laughs> But no, they're going to be celebrating the Power Morpher specifically in two versions. You're going to see the classic silver Power Morpher and certainly the gold version. Um, and the coins themselves will, will be modular, so you can just kind of swap them in and out, collect all the coins that you want. But here's the crazy thing. For as much as I'm showing you, what is that, seven coins on slide right now, um, there are actually more coins than that. Coins that actually spill into some of the other initiatives that we were talking about earlier today, like Shattered Grid. So um, stay tuned for that. But I'm more specifically interested in this next thing, so this is a really kooky idea, but basically they were thinking, hey, all fandom deserves those like cinema moments, you know, like really seeing the full, the full potential of what a fandom moment is. 
So they put together this concept called Cinema Scene, right? Now, it's a placeholder name. I don't know if that's going to be the final name, but Cinema Scene is like take all your favorite stuff across your specific fandoms and create the movie poster version, complete with title credits and everything. So for that, they're working on three specific posters right now that they're ready to reveal. These are still works in progress, so give them a little bit of space, but check it out, guys. <clears throat> Forever Red, Shattered Grid, and Soul of the Dragon. So <clears throat> what they're going to be doing here is working with, honestly, some of the most... Uh, most profound industry-leading artists out there that are doing kind of that like Drew Struzan level movie poster stuff and really realizing it in full graphic effects. So again, these are kind of placeholder work in progress, but you're going to see these go live in just a couple weeks. Give them some love because to me, this is a really cool idea and I especially love the idea of the title block on the bottom. So um, check it out. We're really stoked for Lineage Studios and they'll be, they'll be uh, live in just a couple weeks. So that's Lineage. All right, so for those of you unfamiliar, uh, Hasbro is here exhibiting. Uh, we are actually in the corner. Come check us out. Come say hi. We've put a full display of 25 years of costumes, helmets, props, all sorts of goodies on display. <clears throat> We've also, at the info desk, got a handy little tool we call Drop Mix. Who is familiar with Drop Mix? So for those of you unfamiliar, Drop Mix is basically a system whereby it breaks down every single cool song you've ever heard into like four basic or five basic parts. Um, and what's cool about it is it allows you either in a freestyle mode or in a competitive mode to actually create new songs on the spot from the pieces and parts of the songs that you love. Um, and the Drop Mix team is very, very cool to the Power Rangers franchise team. They've quickly onboarded um, the fourth ever promo card for the game. Uh, it's only available here this weekend at Power Morphicon, so come say hi. We'll give you one of those promo cards. It is actually the original Mighty Morphin theme song, which we worked directly with Mr. Ron Wasserman to source. So Ron was just a super cool dude. Um, and so, for those of you unfamiliar, unfamiliar, this is the redo version um, that he released just a couple years ago. And the reason we went with that one is because that's the only one that was available with the appropriate audio tracks that we needed to make it specifically for Drop Mix. Um, and honestly, it's kind of a pumped up version and I love it. It sounds great. Come by the booth, come hang out with us, uh, Drop Mix some Power Rangers into something crazy. Um, and on that note, I think that's all we've got to show, right, Malvika and Vanessa? Actually, it's not quite there yet. <laughs> um, our team has been working really hard the last couple of months to get everything ready, to have something really amazing product to show you, right, Mofika? Yeah, so it's a little early to be revealing anything normally. Um, but you know, I've only been on the brand for a few months, and I've <laughs> met a lot of you over the course of different uh, conventions and shows, and you guys have been really nice. <laughs> um, and really patient. <laughs> um, so, you know, we have a little anniversary. We'll call this an 25th anniversary gift for you. So instead of me talking, let's, uh, let's just roll it. So I think that definitively answers whether or not Hasbro is going to be doing stuff specifically for our fan community. Um, guys, just for the sake of saying it, uh, three, four months ago, I had a chance to see one of these for the first time in person on a yet unannounced character. And when I saw it, I had to like blink for a second and figure it out because it was like seeing a ranger for the first time in HD. Does that make sense? Like, it was 
perfectly realized. So, um, Malvika, maybe you can give us a top line as to what really makes the Lightning Collection special, please. Yes, so, I mean, at Hasbro, no matter what fandom you're a part of, we want to give you guys the best figures we possibly can. Um, so, for, for, for Lightning Collection, it's really about the quality. So, um, it's going to be... Uh, Six-inch figure scale, premium details, premium deco. Um, you'll get all great accessories. Um, you're going to get a you know, swappable head. So at Hasbro, we have something called photo reel technology. So it's a really great way to get those details on the, on, on the faces as well because we have a whole library to choose from, um, you know, from, from 25 years. Let's talk about these next three red beats specifically. So accessories included. What about the next one, Malvika? I, well, I can't see Jason. <laughs> Weapons included? Weapons included. I'm sorry you can't see. <laughs> I'll help you out. Thank you. Optional special effects yep. included? Yep. yep. The special effects is really helping everybody to bring every all the uh, character to life especially in the action pose with the impact and all those light explosion so you can finally do it yes. <laughs> all right and then lastly that swappable photo real actor likeness included yep. and let me be clear guys I'm not saying that, um, and I don't think anybody here on, on the stage is saying, oh, you're going to get one of these things per figure. It's all of these things per figure. So really legit, really excited about that. Man, so exciting. I think at this time, um, we're going to open it up to a little bit of audience Q&A and see what you guys are curious about. So we actually have a microphone set up on the left over here, if you just want to make an orderly line, uh, we would love to take some questions from you. And real quick, I am going to just kind of throw it out to the room. Um, please, Ranger Nation rules apply. And what I mean by that is just be cool, right? Be respectful. We're very grateful to have some of the folks up here that they, they volunteered their time to be here. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, let's kick it off with uh, Q Red, who's Q number one. Get it? All right, Thank moving you very on. much. I appreciate it. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Hasbro, for delivering what we expect out of toys because there are so much of those things that we have been waiting for with Bandai. That's all I got to say. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Q Red, for that opinion. We really love it. Um, I just want to say, while I am happy to see that all of those things will be included, I just got to wonder how will that affect the price point to a certain extent because... I, I do know a lot of us want to see that things, but we don't want to pay like masterpiece transformer prices for every six inch figure, you know what I mean? Yep, so from a Hasbro perspective, you know, as we look to, um, you know, the, the Lightning Collection, we want to have a range of price points. We don't want to leave anybody out. We want to make sure everybody's getting a really quality figure um, at a great price point. So the, the figure that you saw, and it will actually be in the booth. Lights. Yeah, it'll be in the booth a little bit later so you can see it. Um, it is going to retail for $19.99. Um. So for those of you that may not have heard it, can you say that one more time, Alvika? Why don't you pull the mic just a pinch closer to you? Uh, 1999. I surrender to our Hasbro overlords. I give up. Maybe. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, you're looking marvelous. Ah, I see what you did. Thank you. Sorry, guys. It's like my one time of the year where everybody's going to get that. I'm particularly interested in the helmet list figures, and um, I want to know how it works with the licensing of people's faces. Like, for example, I really want to get um, Trini, the Yellow Ranger, but I mean, she's no longer around, so how would you get around to getting her face on a You picture? can use my face for free. <laughs> <laughs> good to know, good to know. Um, it's kind of a, well, we'll throw that maybe over to the design team um, just a second. I mean, obviously, the current cast is much easier to capture. Right, um, but in terms of respecting cast members that are, are perhaps no longer with us, uh, it's certainly a challenge. Vanessa, do you want to maybe give us a little bit of insight how we do something like that? Yeah, actually, um, 
authenticity is definitely one thing we really want to capture, and our team actually have a library of archives that we are going through to make sure that we can capture especially some of the cast that's actually from the past. So we are working through it to find a way, but definitely we actually will be able to uh, deliver, especially uh, the classic cast. So it's a combination, right? Sometimes you have real scan data that you can play with. Sometimes you have to build it based off of archives. So we actually have lots of behind the scenes photography, stuff that you'll see in the forthcoming Inside Editions book in just a few weeks. Um, that we, we build a, a, a turntable, uh, and then we start refining it, and in some cases, um, you know, we, we, again, it's just very careful, very meticulous, uh, and certainly trying to be as respectful as possible to those folks. Okay, because you can't just make five of the Rangers, but not that one. Because a absolutely. <laughs> Ab no, agree. Wholeheartedly agree. Trini is, is critical um, uh, for all the right reasons, and there's no way we would avoid it. Um, she, you know, obviously needs to uh, be a part of that uh, when we get there, right? Right, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Howdy. So my question is, um, with Hasbro not having the master toy license, how is that gonna move forward for the legacy line, more specifically for the Megazords in the legacy line? Mm. Do you want me to tackle this, Malvika, or? Um, well, we, we are just kind of talking about what we revealed today, so don't want to give uh, too much away about what we might do in the future, but, um, <laughs> you know, I think we're going to look at everything that's available to us. Um, it's such a great property. It's so deep. It has such great characters, so, you know, like, I can't, I can't say anything yet about um, future plans on, it, on expanding, but um, know that we're looking at everything. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your question. Hello. Hey. My question is, I was, it was a question about um, one of the things you revealed earlier it involved um, the thing, thing that showed, I think it was the buckle thing, whatever, uh, was it? I'm sorry, say again? Uh, it was the buckle thing about the mind morphing coins that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, is it actually going to be able to be put on your own belt? So these are pins, um, and the pins are... Uh, I'm kind of holding up a scale here in my fingers if you get a sense. Like the morpher would be about that big, and the coins themselves are pretty small. So arguably you could put them on a belt, but they'd probably look even better on a jacket is or it, a backpack. Is it kind of compatible with the legacy coins as well? No, it's not that big. Um, these are truly pins. Uh, they just look highly collectible at that scale. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, hi, everyone. How's it going? Um, there is one thing I wanted to ask about some of the Lightning Collection figures for later on for when you get to other seasons. Like, who here remembers Mystic Force? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was just wondering that when you get, when we eventually get the figures for like Mystic Force, Magnet Defender, Solaris Knight, uh, will you guys be able to use cloth capes because those seem a little better with posing? So I don't think we're ready to specifically talk about certain uh, material executions, but what I can tell you is, if you remember from the Lightning Collections uh, slide just a few, few um, slides ago, uh, there's some key words on there that says it's an anthology series. Yeah. So we're not asking you to buy complete teams now. It's going to be like a cool collection of characters, very comparable to like how Marvel Legends curates their lines, oh. right? So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play the field, I guess, is the best way to say it. Cool. Not Everyone to worry. Welcome our new Hasbro overlords. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hi guys, how you doing? Thank you guys so much for this presentation. It was awesome. That's all. Thank no, you, Chris. I have a question. <laughs> so for the N-Way folks, uh, I play Legacy Wars and it's so cool, but I want to know, are there going to be more Zords that are coming out? Yes. <laughs> but we can't talk about which ones. <laughs> I, uh, what I can say is we are listening to you all. I hope what we revealed with those five characters is a show of that, and cool stuff is coming. Awesome. But Thank you, guys. And SPD Megazord just dropped, like, last week, so check that out. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Uh, thanks for giving us a look into the stuff that you're uh, coming out with. Uh, I, I have a question with the legacy line, uh, will you be continuing with, rep with doing replicas of the morphers, or do you have different ideas in mind? So I think this goes back to Malvika's answer. I'm just going to kind of piggy piggyback on that. Um, 
you know, we're, we're kind of only talking about Lightning Collection today, as you've seen on screen. Uh, can't specifically get into some of the details as to what we haven't real, revealed today. But again, everything's on our radar. We're trying to make the best decisions possible. And um, certainly, as you saw, as reflected in the Lightning Collection, we're really chasing the best possible execution that's also um, retail friendly, right? We want you guys to be able to get this stuff, have access to it, and be reasonable as well. So um, stand by. There's definitely, like, as a fan myself, there's some really great, cool stuff that's happening. So please give us a little bit of grace, but uh, we're stoked to show you the Lightning Collection here today. And actually, Vanessa, mm -hmm. what's in the black box? Yes, you guys may have noticed in our booth there's a black box. And actually, that is the White Ranger Lightning Series. Uh, he's here in person inside the black box, so we are going to review. Um, but just keep in mind, it's actually a handmade uh, prototype uh, just for the show. So in production, it's going to be cleaner, even more high res. All the articulation is going to work really well in production. So uh, please go check it out. Yeah, right on. So come by the booth. We'll be revealing the black box as we leave. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Howdy. I'm good. Um, so well done for acquiring this brand. Let's say that. So my question regarding the Beast Hall for Zords, and well, it's all two. Uh, one, is there a likelihood we might be reusing the same Japanese molds? And two, are you going to do a similar um, sort of line with the Zords like your trans? Hormuz lines like um, Voyager, Leaders, um, uh, and so. Uh, all super great ideas and definitely stuff we have been jamming on internally. Um, again, we're not particularly prone today to reveal some of those specifics. Okay. Um, but again, everything's on the table. What I, but what I will say is what I fundamentally love about being a part of, now formally a part of the Hasbro family, is we're going to measure twice and we're going to cut once and it's going to be perfect. Right? Okay. And so we're stoked about these opportunities and we're stoked to bring them to you. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? Hey. Uh, so um, I guess my biggest concern, um, and first of all, I love that figure, I love the 1999 price point for it and everything. It does look, uh, just a quick clarification, that is not, that's a complete remold, not an existing figure from like a previous existing lines, like Fig Arts or anything like that. Yeah, le let me be completely clear, and I'm sure everybody up here would validate, like, it's this is 100% original, new tooling, and when I, I really have to kind of throw it back to my original comment about um, seeing a figure like this for the first time in, in high def. What I mean by that is the proportions are right, the textures are right, the articulation is to what is possible in production, relatively speaking, flawless, um, the photo real likeness. Like, it is like seeing a Power Rangers toy for the first time, right? Like, uh, I, and I can't stress that enough. I say this respectively. Historically, lots of roided out figs that like were choking on their own collarbones, if you know what I'm talking about. This is a whole new ball game. Yeah? <laughs> well, um, so I guess my, 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 my primary question, just to get that clarification out there, um, is there any chance of still importing the original lines? So like, like, for example, the Japanese lines, we've gotten uh, historically through like uh, branding with American branding, as opposed to just the, fi the Japanese import. Yeah, I think um, the best way to answer that is just, you know, we've got, um, we're, we're sort of analyzing the field again, uh, and we're inheriting, obviously, a lot of relationships coming over from Saban to Hasbro, uh, and we're analyzing those and being very careful and, again, trying to make the best strategic decisions possible for you guys. Um, so stand by on that front. Cool. All right. Thank cool. You. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So... Are all those fancy collectible items just going to be restricted, restricted to Mighty Morphin, or are you branching out to other seasons, too? Thank you for letting me re-emphasize this point. No, no, no. Anthology collection. This is not like, hey, you're going to buy Mighty Morphin again, and Mighty Morphin again, and Mighty Morphin again. This is truly an anthology collection, and when you see the rest of Wave 1 um, over the next few months, you're going to understand implicitly... It's a whole new day. So, how long am I have? So, how long am I gonna have to wait for the Time Force Rangers? Oh, good question. 
on Light Bee Collection. Well, as somebody who knows something about Time Force, um, <laughs> no, 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 uh, I, again, we can't say specifically here on spot, but we definitely know that Time Force uh, characters are beloved. And, um, and again, with this new approach in an anthology series, it gives us a chance to lo touch lots of other seasons at much more quickly than we could have in the past. So, good luck, Hasbro, and don't mess it up. <laughs> Hi. Hey, good morning. I like your hat. Thank you. I've been a Power Ranger fan since high school. Right on. And um, would you ever do, like, like little, would, you, would, would Hasbro ever do, like, keychains? Oh, she asked if Hasbro will ever do keychains. Um, I guess the best way to answer that is uh, probably. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're very focused, obviously, here on stage for toys, collectibles, um, and, and games, right? But I will say that one thing I certainly appreciate as somebody who was outside and now I'm inside, like Hasbro does a really great job of making sure that you know, all walks of life, all kinds of fans from preschool to adult collectors, they all, they all like, you guys, there's, there's stuff there for you right across the board. And so um, my guess is, yeah, there's probably keychains coming, but I can't thank you, hard thank clarify you today. From yeah, you bet. A person with special needs. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, right on. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, I was wondering with the Heroes of the Grid uh, game coming out soon, uh, I know it's based around the Boom Comics and the main five but I was wondering if we would see the uh, Ninja Powers and Rocky, uh, Adam, Aisha, and Catherine at some point. Scott? It's kind of up to you guys. So <laughs> we, we were actually discussing this just the other day. Um, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, um, running this campaign is about forming this relationship with, with our, our core fans and, and, and early adopters. Um, we have plans to kind of leave the next team up to up to the fans, and we're going to be gathering feedback from from our our early adopters and Kickstarter backers on which rangers we add next and which subject. But we are not limited to what you've seen so far by any means. Okay, thank you. Thank you, and just a heads up, guys, we've only got room for maybe a couple more questions. Um, so if we do cut you off. We still love you. It has nothing to do with you. Uh, it's just we're, we're pressed for time, and there's some cool stuff coming with Super Ninja Steel. So stand by. Uh, for the Lightning Collection, will we get monster toys? Uh, mm, you'll have to stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, I know um, you already listed all that red stuff, but maybe would Build-A-Figure be a thing, too? Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Could we handle Pudgy Pig in all of the details? Like, is that, can the human eye take that? Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey guys, how's it going? My hey, question's morning. for Enway. Uh, I know you guys are a mobile developer, but have you explored the possibility of Legacy Wars being on Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch? <laughs> <laughs> nice comment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now we're just focused on the mobile game, um, but we all play console games, and we love them. If that's a dream that we can make, eventually make happen, that would be rad. Um, but right now, we are trying to focus and really bring that high graphical quality to the phones. But yeah, it would be a dream of mine. That, cool. That's for sure. Thank you. Thank you. He took my question. He took your question. Yeah, I, I, Let's get him. Yeah. And then about Legacy Wars, uh, uh, is there a way to uh, be like Troopers and Mass Wilder to Legacy Wars? Uh, so for those who couldn't hear the question, is there um, an opportunity to ask uh, to uh, bring in characters like Mass Rider and VR Troopers into Legacy Wars? Um, it, it's certainly something that we've talked about. Uh, we're probably not really ready to talk about specifics today, um, but it's something we have had discussion around. Um, just we can't tell you, unfortunately, <laughs> stuff. Yes, <man. laughs> but it's it's certainly something we've talked about. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do like maybe one or two more guys, and then we're gonna call it. Cool. Hi. So um, first off, thank you for showing everything. It's really cool. 
Um, when I found out Hasbro acquired the toy license for Power Rangers, the first thing that popped in my head is, Hasbro owns Wizards of the Coast, and Wizards of the Coast makes Dungeons and Dragons and Magic Gathering. So, yes or no, are there any plans for a potential, say, Power Ranger card game? So, um, it's a great question. I'm just going to tackle this one real, because I think it's kind of low-hanging fruit. Um, Drop Mix is a perfect example of us finding ways to play with other awesome groups within the company. And uh, we are yet further exploring that in all, fair, uh, in all fairness. Like, this is a whole brand new thing that just happened like 45 days ago. So <laughs> give us a second to breathe because we just pulled off Power Morphicon. But, um, <laughs> but no, I mean, it, again, we're, we're having those kinds of conversations, but no promises here today, okay? Okay. Thank cool. You very Thank much. you. Great question. All right. Hey guys, hey Jason. Love that jacket. Thanks. <laughs> Rough time force represent. Uh, love everything I've seen here. I, for one, welcome our new Hasbro overlords. But I gotta, everyone's asking about Zords, figures, monster figures, games, stuff like that. What about role playing stuff? Because I, for one, collect wristbands. I love wristbands. I love Hyperforce, even though half the, I, half the time I have no idea what's going on. Is there a chance of getting a Hyperforce Morpher? Add to my collection. Hyperforce Morpher, Vanessa or Malvika? You know, I, I sound like a broken record. Again, there is so much to choose from in this lore and the Power Rangers brand, and we're looking at everything, so I can't, you know, can't share too much today, but um, noted, and we'll take it into consideration. Put a pin in that. Thank you. And our final question from perhaps our most esteemed audience member. Thank you for your patience, my friend. Go and send us out right. What's your question? So, um... Bandai did a thing where they made high quality figures in their legacy line, but only for past seasons. And then they made lesser quality figures for their current seasons, like Ninja Steel. So when Beast Morphers come out, are you going to add Beast Morphers figures to the Lightning Collection? Or are you gonna make like a new line for Beast Morphers? Do you work for io9? <laughs> <laughs> no. Brother, that is perhaps one of the most articulate questions I've ever heard at a panel ever. Give it up for this dude. If you are not seriously considering journalism or a career as being a Power Ranger, you should. Um, and, the, and the ease and comfort at which you delivered that question is something to be praised. Uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. It's an anthology series. <laughs> Anything is possible. But, um, no, it's, again, it's... It's something that uh, you know, we're, we're thinking about you guys. And what I mean by that is everybody. All walks of Power Ranger, uh, Power Ranger fans, all walks of Ranger Nation. We want to make sure that everybody feels like they're at the table in everything that we do. Um, Beast Morphers is so cool. And um, so, again, there's conversations happening. Nothing here to reveal at this time. Thank you. But thank you for your incredible question. Could, could I ask... Young, young man, we're looking for a product developer on our team that knows the business <laughs> side of things. Please come visit me in our booth. <laughs> so with that, gang, again, I just want to um, extend just... It's a pretty exciting, crazy new time for Power Rangers. Um, nothing, like, there couldn't be a better representation of what's happening in the 25th anniversary than just some of the smiles in the room that we're seeing right now. Um, we're stoked to be, uh, to be in the positions that we're in to help deliver the best possible franchise real, uh, like version for you guys ever. Um, that's coming together daily in, in how we've expressed the 25th anniversary. And I promise you, this is just the start. Um, so with that, please give again, again a warm thank you to our panelists here today. Uh, please come hang out with us at the Hasbro booth. There's lots more to talk about. We'd love to see you and say hi. And again, we're opening up the black box in just a few minutes. And please stay in this room for Super Ninja Steel.